All right, so now that Christmas is over, the holiday rush of returns has started. How's it been for local retailers now that the big day is behind us? WDRB's Joel Skipper joins us live from all St. Matthews where shoppers are still out and about. Is it crowded, Joel? Is it crowded? Absolutely. It actually took us a while to find parking here at the mall. Uh, but despite you know being lots of deals out there, those deals are out there, definitely. It was a pretty profitable holiday and post-holiday for local businesses. Turn here. All right, we're turning this and then for that. Yes. Yeah. All right. It didn't take long for the line to grow at locally owned Quest Outdoors Tuesday morning. Just hours after Christmas on the calendar was officially over, people wasted no time hitting the stores as the hunt for deals starts now post holiday. Sometimes picking up, you know, things we forgot at Christmas to finish out things or returns. Um, today we're returning some things that were a little too small or a little too big. The day after Christmas shopping becoming a tradition for Megan Mayer and her family. The city is, is home to me and my family and I have grew up here, raised here, so anywhere that I can support local businesses, I'm all for it. It's been a great Christmas. It's been great. Everybody's been wonderful. The National Retail Federation says this year about $966 billion will be spent over the holidays, up by more than 3% from last year. And I also always love to check out the after um, holiday specials too. Those yes. are where the deals are at. That's where the deals and to take your <laughs> gift card and get something for school is wonderful. Jill Spencer and her family stop by the outlet shops of the Bluegrass in Simpsonville. They too looking for the best deals and it wasn't just the adults doing the searching. It's pretty like fun to do because you got these gift cards and you would probably have Christmas money that you can spend. I got this cool gift and I want gibbets to have on my cool gift. On your Crocs. Yes. <laughs> but despite the expected crush of traffic and crowds, Tuesday morning wasn't as overwhelming as shoppers thought. What do you think of the crowds? As many people as you thought or? Actually, this is pretty nice. This is doable. I expected there to be a lot more traffic out here, especially by the malls in St. Matthews, and it's not, but I, there's tons nice. of people in the store still. Well, it is right now. Definitely a lot of people out here, and about $30 billion in gift cards were given out across the country. Maybe, uh, maybe you got some of them. Retailers are staying a little open in the next few days, of course, leading into the new year. Reporting live in Louisville with photojournalist Jonathan McKember, Joel Skipper, WDRB News. Thank you.